YouTube channel ViewMass. Today we are going to learn Simpson's 3 by 8 rule under numerical integration. I have already made the videos on two connected topics, Simpson's one third rule and trapezoidal rule. The links of those videos are given in the description box. If you're watching me first time, do subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon to get the notifications of all my latest videos. So let's begin. There are three main methods for the numerical integration. Trapezoidal rule, Simpson's one third rule and Simpson's three by eight rule. I have already made the videos on trapezoidal rule and Simpson's one third rule. If you want to learn those two, two methods, then you have to click on the links given in the description box. Okay, so let us start Simpson's 3 8 rule. To start with the function y is equal to fx which is defined in an interval ab. Now you can see that the graph of this function a random function y is equal to fx. Considering some points on the curve a0, a1, a2, a3 and so on up to an. So coordinates are given as x0, y0, x1, y1, x2, y2 and xn, ym. So what we have done, this is an irregular curve and we are basically calculating the area under this irregular curve with x-axis. So there are two methods. One method is dividing into number of strips and this all trapeziums. We have to add the area of all trapeziums and we get an approximate area of the curve bounded by x-axis right from x is equal to x0 is equal to a to x0 is equal to b okay so this is one way the other way is newton's coarse quadrature formula i'll come on that before that let me explain x0 is equal to a xn is equal to b so what is h h means the width of interval between distance between x0 and x1 it is same as the distance between x1 and x2 that means all strips have the same equal width and the width is h. How do we calculate h? It is b minus a means upper limit minus lower limit divided by the number of intervals. n is the number of interval. So this is, way, this is the way we calculate the width of interval. What is the important point in this Simpson 3 by 8 rule? The most important point is the number of interval n should always be in a multiple of 3. Suppose if intervals are given as 5 or 8, we cannot apply Simpson 3 by 8 rule because 5 and 8 are not the multiples of 3. That means to apply the Simpson 3 by 8 rule, the number of intervals should be minimum 6. So at 3 actually 3 can also be there but 3 you cannot apply. So it should be 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 20 this way. Should be in a multiple of 3. Okay. So let us come on the proof part of this formula. So using Newton Coates quadrature formula. This Newton course quadrature formula is called as the father of numerical integration. Why it is called as so? Because all the methods, trapezoidal rule, Simpson one third rule, or Simpson three by eight rule, all these methods are derived from this formula only. In this formula, you observe what is this Newton course formula? X naught integral x naught to x naught plus n h f x dx is equal to h n into y0 plus n square by 2 delta y0 plus half n cube by 3 minus n square by 2 delta square y0 and so on. Here you know h, h is called as the width of interval. What is n? Number of intervals. What is y0? This is ordinates. What is delta? It is a forward difference operator. Okay. So now in this formula, if you substitute n is equal to 1, n is equal to 1, then you get trapezoidal rule. If you put n is equal to 2 in this entire formula, wherever you find n, you put n is equal to 2, you will get Simpson's one third rule. 
and if you put n is equal to 3 in this formula you get Simpson's 3 8th rule. So after putting n is equal to 3 see and extending extending it to x0 to x3 x0 to x6 x0 to x9 okay so in the multiple of 3 we generate this formula what is this formula integral a to b fx dx is equal to 3h by 8 so simpson 3 by 8 you start with 3h by 8 y0 plus yn extreme ordinates plus 2 times sum of all ordinates multiple of 3 y3 y6 y9 and so on plus 3 times all remaining ordinates y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus y5 and so on so what is the easy way to remember integral a to b fx dx is equal to 3h by 8 x plus 2t plus 3r x means extreme y0 plus yn 2 into t 2 into t means the multiple of 3 okay and 3 into r so 3 times r means remaining ordinates so this way you can remember now if you are degree engineering students you definitely focus on the proof with the newton course quadrature formula otherwise if you are a student of a diploma engineering or a class 12 student and want to learn this method then just focus on this formula remember this formula and Practice how to apply this formula in the problems. There are mainly two types of problems in Simpson's 3 by 8th rule. The first type is computation table is given in the problem to evaluate integral a to b fx dx. What does it mean? When you see the problem of uh, Simpson's 3 by 8th rule, you have seen, you, you can see a table over there. The table is already given. This table is called as a computation table. And with the help of the table, we had to substitute the values in the formula and to calculate it. So once a computation table is given, this is the type 1. And in type 2, you can see computation table is not given. So we have to prepare the computation table first before evaluating integral a to b fx dx. So this is an additional work in type 2. The computation table is to be prepared first with the help of the given data and then you have to evaluate the integral okay we'll discuss both the types now coming over the uses use of simpson's 3 8 rule what is the first use it is used to calculate the area under an irregular curve so if the curve is not a well defined it is a random curve then you cannot apply the well-defined methods. So you know the area under the curve is given by integral a to b y dx. But y is a perfect defined curve. There we can use it. But if the curve is not defined then we have to divide it into number of strips and adding all the areas we can apply this rule. So this is Simpson's 3 by 8 or a numerical integration. So this rule will be applied when the curve is an irregular curve. The second type, this method is used to evaluate complicated functions under integration which does not have well-defined algorithms. So the functions which are complicated and not well-defined, they are evaluated by using numerical integration methods. You can see, you would have seen the integration chapter that the functions are well defined and well algorithms are also defined the methods are also defined whether it is a problem of a substitution or a problem of a biparts the methods are defined and using that method you evaluate the integral but suppose that a random function comes and where no method is defined for that then we use such methods of numerical integration and this method is basically used in the research work in research work when you do a huge research, there is a number of variables available. So number of variables create a very complicated function and evaluating the integral of that complicated function that algorithms are not defined. So we use numerical method which gives approximate value. Remember always all numerical methods give you the approximate value 
and not an exact value. Let us discuss the problem of the type 1. So what is type 1? When computation table is given. Computation table is given. So take the example on it. E evaluate integral 0 to 3 e raised to root x dx using Simpson's 3 by 8 rule with the following data. And you see the data for the x and y. This is called as a computation table where the for the values of x the values of y are already given. So we have to use this table the data from the table and to find out the integral 0 to 3 e raised to root x dx. Okay. Now let us focus on the solution part of it. We are writing this computers computation table again same table which is given in the problem is written over here. After writing this computation table we have to mark y0, y1, y2 these ordinates here. So the first ordinate is marked as y1, second ordinate is marked as y, y1, first ordinate is marked as y0, second is marked as y1, third is marked as y2, y3, y4, y5, y6. Now we have to calculate how many intervals are there. If number of intervals are the multiple of 3, then only we can apply Simpson's 3 by 8 rule. Otherwise, not. Let us count. How do you count the intervals? Putting the pen or the finger between the two values of x. This is one interval. Second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth. So 6 is a multiple of 3. So we can apply Simpson's 3 8 rule. What was the lower limit? 0 and upper limit 3. So A is equal to 0, B is equal to 3, N is equal to number of number of intervals which is 6. So what is the value of H? B minus A upon N, B is 3, A is equal to 0, N is equal to 6 and the value comes out to be 0 0.5. So H is called as the width of interval. And if we can check whether the width of interval is 0.5 or not, you can see 0.5 minus 0, 0.5. 1 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.5. 1.5 minus 1, 0 0.5. So H is same throughout. So we can verify this way ki whether we are on the right way or not. Now we have to customize the formula of Simpson 3 by 8 rule for this particular problem. I tell you how we do this. Now you can see as per Simpson's 3 by 8th rule, integral 0 to 3 e raised to root x dx is equal to 3h by 8. Start with the 3h by 8. Extreme ordinates. What are the extreme ordinates? First is y0 and last is y6. Plus 2 times the ordinates in the multiple of 3. The only ordinate available in the multiple of 3 is y3 because y6 is already taken here in the extreme ordinates plus 3 times the sum of remaining. So what all those left are taken here. So 3 into y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus y5. So this is customized 3 by 8 rule for this particular problem. Then we can substitute these values here for y0, y6. How do you get these values? You can see we are taking the values from the table. These values y0 is 1 y1 is 2.0281, y2 is 2.7183 and so on. These values are substituted here. You can see the same values are substituted in the formula. So after calculating this using calculator, we get the value as 12.8137. So integral 0 to 3 e raised to root x dx is equal to 12.8137. And this is an approximate value of this integration. Now let us discuss the type 2 where the computation table is not given. See the example. Evaluate 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square using Simpson's 3 8 rule. Now no table is given here. We have to construct a table. So here what is the function? dx is the operator. So function is 1 upon 1 plus x square. So let fx is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square. What is the value of a? 0. What is value of b? 6. Okay. So a is equal to 0, b is equal to 6. Now here 
since the table is not given we have to decide the number of intervals how many intervals you want to keep now in case of 3 by 8th rule we have to keep minimum 6 intervals 6 9 12 and so on okay so let us take the minimum number of interval as 6 so what is the value of h We are focusing on solution now. So h is equal to b minus a upon n, 6 minus 0 upon 6, which is equal to 1. So we got the spacing between the two values of x as 1. The starting value is a is equal to 0. So we have to start from the 0. So the very first value of x is 0. The next value is add 0 to h. h is equal to 1 here. So 0 plus 1. 1. 1 plus 1, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 1, 6. So finally, we got all the values of x. Now substituting these values of x at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the function y is equal to 1 upon 1 plus x square. What is the value of x? 0. When you put 0 here, we get 1 upon 1 is equal to 1. You can see y not is equal to 1. Then substitute 1 here, 1 upon 1 plus 1, 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 is 0. 0.5. When you put 2 here, 2 square is 4 plus 1, 5, 1 upon 5 is 0. 0.2 and so on. So when you substitute all these values of x in the function 1 upon 1 plus x square, you get the values as given here. So what is our next step? The next step is we have to mark, we have to mark the values as y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and y6. All ordinates, these values are called as the ordinates. All ordinates are marked as y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and y6. Let us customize the formula Simpson's 3 by 8 rule for this particular problem. So integral 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square is equal to starting with 3h by 8. Now extreme points are y0 and y6. So extreme y0 plus y6 plus 2 times the odd multiple. Odd multiple is only y3 plus 3 times sum of the remaining y1 plus y2 plus y4 plus y5. Then we have to substitute the values here. The values are given. What is the value of y0? 1. y1? 0. 0.5. y2? 0. 0.2. y3? 0. 0.1. y4? 0. 0.0588 and so on. The same values are substituted here. You can see. These values are substituted here. What is the value of h which is equal to 1 which is also substituted. Now we can calculate it using calculator and what is the final answer? The final answer comes out to be 1.3571. So this is an approximate value of 0 to 6 dx upon 1 plus x square. Hope it is clear to you. Dear students, Simpson 3 by 8 rule is Explain with relevant examples. Hope you understood the concept and the method very well. If so, do share and like the videos. Stay connected. Thanks for watching.